Hello everyone, my name is Javier Liñares and it is my pleasure to give you an update on the migration from e-committees to ISO documents. From the first onboarding wave in January 2020 until today, we, have the, we had the opportunity to considerably improve and consolidate the ISO documents platform. So why do we talk about ISO documents in an iSolutions meeting? Well, mostly because uh, with the ongoing migration of NTC, your national committees will now be managed from the same platform as ISO documents. This opens new opportunities, and one of them is that new developments can benefit ISO and national committees at the same time. In almost a couple of years, we had the chance to introduce many features, but rest reassured, I'm not going to cover them all today. If you want to read more about everything that was released this year on ISO documents, please check out the release notes uh, by, for example, scanning the QR code uh, that you're seeing on the page right now. You can also head to helpdesk.iso.org, which is the address for the knowledge base, and search for the release notes of ISO documents there. Before talking about specific features, let's talk about three major milestones. The first one consists in the migration of SEN committees into the same platform as ISO documents. This simplifies the navigation between ISO and SEN committees on top of consolidating the user experience. In June, we migrated the governance groups, the ISO governance groups. From a functional perspective, the work was similar to what we brought uh, to the technical committees, but there are some behind the scenes improvements for secretaries responsible for posting and sharing new documents. Also, for the committee members of the governance groups, it is now much easier and, and, and better uh, to search for resolutions made by these groups. The last major step is the recent onboarding of national committees into the platform, which started, started in October, and my colleague Céline will tell you more in the video that she covered um, covering the, the subject. With these three major milestones, we're now offering from one single platform, access to ISO, SEN, and iSolutions national documents. This offers a fluid navigation between national mirror committees and their respective ISO and SEN mapped committees, but also consolidates the user experience. Regardless of the type of committees, the user interface is very similar. Now, let's talk about concrete features introduced this year. First of all, Let's have a look at the new committee homepage. The new look and feel brings better visibility to what matters the most in ISO documents, committee documents. The previous content is still there to be found. We just changed the widgets positions and sizes to bring better visibility to the latest documents. Also on the committee homepage, we introduced two new widgets. One is the pin content widget, which appears as soon as the committee manager has pinned a document. The aim of this area is to persist documents on the homepage, pretty much like a bookmark, but for the entire committee. The second widget is meant for committees currently using the online standards development platform and offers a direct access to the collaborative editing tool. We also improved the existing ballot and meeting documents widgets to facilitate the navigation to ISO ballots and ISO meetings. By clicking on the icon on the top right corner of these widgets, users are taken to the list of ballots and meetings directly in these applications without having to search again for their committee. There are other more low profile changes uh, that were made, which are still worth mentioning. Users can now create simple, simply documents from ISO documents directly without having to upload any file. They can simply use the description field and format their text as they would in a regular text editor. Set the cover page option to cover sheet only, et voila. Also, the weekly digest email sent to committee managers now also includes the documents to be notified, the reserved end numbers, and also the documents whose rendition may have failed. Lastly, users can now export the metadata of documents in an Excel format so they can, for example, create a meeting agenda more easily. The project's not over though, and e-committees is still being used for some activities. We will very soon deploy a simple and safe 
integration to expose committee public documents to a public audience so committees can better promote their work. There are also many referenced uh, documents as, for example, the directives and other resource materials that are still hosted, hosted on e-committees and that need to be migrated before decommissioning that platform. One of the features that we'll start working on next year are the collaborative features. So we can offer better tools for committees to work together and reach consensus more easily. So that's it for the ISO Documents 2021 project update. I look forward to meeting you virtually for the iSolutions meeting. Thank you very much for your time and interest. And let's talk together very soon.